This is race five of the end of year series here at NorCal Hobbies. Really fun place. Uh, check it out. The owners, uh, really cool and amazing driver as well. Just a great person. Uh, but here we go. So I started dead last out of 10 cars and uh, I'm going to wreck. So don't get too excited. I'm going to do just as bad. Uh, but here we go. So watch some of the other cars. If you actually focus on the experts, uh, that's something I'd recommend. Uh, probably uh, the winner might be a little hard to spot, but if you look at that car right here that's about to go through that double, well, he kind of went off the screen, the red, white, and blue car, I believe he ended in second place. So it's a very good car to drive. Uh, the main thing that you want to avoid here is you want to avoid accidents. You want to avoid accidents and mistakes. So there you see how I got hit. So I wrecked in the straightaway. Uh, and that's something that's going to happen. So one of the things when you drive is you have to drive defensively uh, as well. And by defensively, I don't mean you hit the other cars. I mean that you have to try not to get hit, uh, which is something that happens in, I would say, sportsmen. I mean, it can happen in all levels. But here we go. So I pass a few cars, and then I get hit on that jump. So, so I got hit in the straightaway. I get hit on the jump. Uh, if I were one of the top drivers, I'd be irritated, but I'm not. So I'm just trying to learn the course, right? This is the fourth time I drive this layout this night. It was qualifier one, qualifier two, B main, made it to the A main, and here we go. Uh, so just be patient. Uh, you know, people make mistakes. You make mistakes as well. And uh, it in the end, it's just a place to have fun. Yes, things can happen, right? That Marshall almost stepped on my car. Uh, <laughs> and that happens like you wouldn't believe. It happens to all Marshalls. Right? You get a card to the ankle. I've gotten one to the ankle before. And that wasn't fun. At that point, all you do is just tighten up your shoelaces a little more so it doesn't swell. And then you pretend like nothing happened. And you just don't admit that... Uh, <laughs> You were a fool. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It happens. Although sometimes drivers do need to be careful. Uh, there was a gentleman that was uh, injured in one particular race, one particular area during a tabletop because some racer decided to just shoot his car up into the wall. And uh, luckily the marshal's face was there to protect the wall. Uh, so as a driver, you also have to be conscious. But uh, here we go. Uh, so I have a lot of fun driving with that uh, burnt orange car that's about to hit the tabletop. Uh, really nice gentleman and a fun individual to race with. Um, but here we go. Uh, the nice thing about this class is uh, after the series, if you, if your times, so there I, I, that guy, I just gave the position to that guy because he was ahead of me. I just didn't want to ruin his race. So if you're wondering why I slowed down and stopped, that's the reason why. Uh, but again, uh, after the series, if your times are really good, then you can move on to expert and the, sorry, uh, intermediate. And then after that, you can go to expert. So you can really grow in this class, uh, versus for example, short course. I love short course, but you're kind of thrown in with the wolves, uh, meaning that there's <laughs> expert drivers in there. So good luck. Uh, sometimes you just kind of pray that they don't show up for a race so you can at least beat them at the end of the series, uh, by points, uh, which is what happened. Uh, I think I think I'm in second place. Yeah, for for uh, short course. Sorry, in the series, but here in buggy, yeah, nowhere close. There I am, kind of battling it out with that burnt orange car that I like racing with, but it's not going to work. I'm pretty sure I'm dead last. Uh, but uh, there is a moment that I want to sort of point out. Uh, so there, the marshal is just going to hold it, s waves me off. Why? He He's kind of keeping track of the time. So as a marshal, if you're marshalling, you're keeping track of lost time. So he just sort of calculated how much time I would have lost because of my mistake and then just let me go. Uh, so that's something else. Now, that guy already had a lap on me. Oh, and that was actually the spot. So that red and... Uh, red, white, and blue car, uh, I knew he was coming behind, I knew uh, he was one of the top guys, so once I felt comfortable to give the position, I just kind of yelled, uh, red, white, and blue car, go, that way the driver knows that I'm 
planning on getting out of the way so he can make his move and pass. And when you get out of the way, you generally go wide on a turn so the other person can pass you on the inside. Uh, that's generally the norm, although sometimes you give up the position or you go wide and then the other guy goes wide to pass you and then you both crash and then the other person gets upset. Never really understood why. Happens once in a blue moon. But just keep in mind, you can call out the car and just tell them to go once you're comfortable because you don't want to try to let the individual go if you don't feel comfortable. But that's the race. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not and I'll catch you on the next one. Oh, 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 oh,